Welcome to Alphabet City. I'm your guide, Aya Zaktar, and you are the most amazing audience in the world. The Korea Herald published a report saying Samsung will introduce a clamshell foldable Android phone in February. Samsung itself showed off a concept clamshell foldable in a YouTube video titled, A New Form Factor for Foldable Phones. That's not so crazy. What is crazy is the pricing. The Herald says the retail price would be around 1 million won or around 840 US dollars. For comparison, the Galaxy Fold costs $1,980. The Moto Razr will cost around $1,500. The Razr is a gorgeous looking phone that can fold without creasing the screen. CNET has great coverage on how Motorola came up with it, by the way. Taking a very close look at the concept Samsung image, it appears to be a wedge shape. That would mean there could be a slight opening where the hinge would be. Any opening like that for a foldable phone could let in debris, so that could be problematic. Samsung will definitely have to use what it learned with the original Fold to make the clamshell phone more durable. Sam Mobile reports the big display will be 6.7 inches. The cover screen would be a whopping one inch. So that is something. That means the hinge and folding screen will be used every time you want to do anything significant. The Razer will also run into this issue. The Galaxy Fold may have an oddly tall and skinny cover screen, but it's definitely more useful than a one inch display. The clamshell would also have to be crazy durable. Then again, this is a concept image. The final design could differ wildly. An older report by the Bell says the next Galaxy Fold is coming in April 2020, going by the code name Bloom. February 2019 was when the first Galaxy Fold was announced. The Bell says the Galaxy Fold 2 would have either a 6.7 inch or 8.1 inch screen. Now Sam Mobile confirmed the code name of Bloom and says the color choices will include black, purple, and white. So what's going on here? Is the Fold coming out in February or April? The Korea Herald may shed more light on this. It says that Samsung will introduce two foldable phones in 2020. The first in February, the second in August. I'm inclined to believe the Herald on this one. I could see a clamshell foldable phone launch alongside the Galaxy S11. Maybe it could be a Galaxy S series phone. Then in August, we get the big devices. We get the Note 11 along with a foldable tablet. Maybe that's how we get an 8.1 inch display. A quick aside, the Note 10 Plus has a 6.8 inch display, so the clamshell foldable would have a slightly smaller screen. So let's circle back to the price. How likely is it for Samsung to sell a foldable for $840 next year? It's not impossible. To do so should require a ton of compromises though. The budget Galaxy S10e had a price of $750. The display technology and housing for a foldable phone should easily increase the cost of a phone like that as a base. Are we looking at a modified S10e then? Maybe. Now Motorola did not go with a top of the line processor and the Razer was announced with Android 9 even though Android 10 is already available. The camera system is okay, but lacks telephoto and wide angle lenses. The combined battery life is around 2,500 milliamp hours, which is not huge. Moto did all of that and the price is still set for $1,500. How does Samsung get the price to almost half of that? Like I said, it would require tons of compromises, lots and lots of compromises. Maybe this clamshell would be in the A series. That would be Samsung's mid-range phones. Back in September of 2018, Samsung mobile head DJ Ko said, some exciting features would head to its mid-range phones. Those features would graduate up to more expensive ones. This was a reversal of how Samsung normally operated. Maybe we're getting a Galaxy Fold A and that's how we get the low price. On to Common Cove. Last time we talked about X's new everyday robot. Tech Pimp says, what, no Android news? What does robot have anything to do with Android? Well, this show is called Alphabet City because it covers things by that company and stuff related to it. That's why we sometimes cover YouTube things, Waymo stuff, and of course, Android X and the robot thing is owned by Alphabet. That being said, Anorag says, anything new about Fuchsia OS? Doesn't appear that way. I'll keep an eye out for you. Thanks to everyone for writing in. If you've enjoyed your stay in Alphabet City, please like and subscribe. Definitely check out these videos on the Moto Razr. There's plenty to know. I'm Ayaz Zaktar and I'll see you online.